Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game three between Adame and Grast. And I gotta say, this grouping has been... I haven't seen as many games from Grast or Adame, but I've been highly entertained by this group as a whole. I originally chose it because I've seen Art of Turtle otherwise, and I knew he was a skilled guy, but I've been pleasantly surprised by the level of play all the way around. Upper left-hand corner, we have Green Protoss as Grast. Upper right-hand corner, we have Red Protoss as Adame. This is on, I think, BSL Aid Runner which, or did, did I miss say that? We'll see. We'll see the map in a moment. Uh, and again, yeah, these are these are good guys. Uh, it's really fun to cast Chobo League. I think the most fun I ever had casting actually was way back in the day. Got my start actually in Foreigner Community. I should give the original shout out, which is to Yosh and Skew. That was the first Foreigner game I ever commentated. Skew randomly found me somewhere out in Battle.net or someplace, and he was like, come cast this game. Did Yosh versus Skew. I think somewhere that's got to be in my back archives. Did a terrible cast on Luna. Um, but that eventually led me into Yankee League. And then I just feel like it was all downhill from there. Yankee League was the most fun I think I ever had casting Brood War. Kind of this North American League. Which is I think what drew me back to BSL and wanting to cast a lot of the... And highlight really the Americas players in BSL once again. Uh, even though the community has reduced in size a little bit, I feel like the guys and quality that's there, it's risen enough where the mid-level, and also because of remastered and where it's not just so visually um, disdainful. That's the word I'm looking for. Early Brood War, granted this is, you know, it's just a little bit sharper, but I do feel like the early Brood War, it was like you were looking, especially if you watch Moltrap do the old streams, when he's having to do the 380p thing, or the 480p, whatever. He's, the really bad quality video, it's like, ugh, what am I looking at? My eyes, they feel dirty. But now, point being, yeah, the community shrunk, it's increased in potency and quality, and I hope that will bring us into a new era of Brood War overall, and rant. <laughs> The simulator is up for grass, so he's going to go for more of a macro or, or a more tech-oriented build right off the bat. We have two gateways once again from Adame that is going to get scattered right off the bat from grass. And I don't see gas steals very often because in a mirror matchup, every little bit of minerals count. But it is possible we would see maybe a mana pylon there given the opportunity. It looks like Adame scouting the opposite direction going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So it's going to be a little bit late on the scout. And I don't know that he's even going to get any information because the sell it. I don't think the probe can slip by there. So I think that Zealot is actually going to provide the blockade, which is going to put him in the dark. And again, PvP can be one of those really touchy things where you're never quite... Yeah, there's the Manor Pylon. He's going to be able to blockade one. Sometimes the other danger of the Manor Pylon in this is sometimes you got to worry about counter cheese where they're just planning nexuses and cannons and all sorts of shenanigans. So it just also raises the tension a little bit. Plus you get the delayed mining time. It's almost like a permanent scout in your base in this section of the field. So, yeah, it's 100 minerals. But I'm honest, I'm kind of curious if anyone's done the pure math as far as what is lost and the comparative gain. Probe is now stuck in the base with that zealot capping and another zealot moving out to go ahead and try to force things through. In the, and actually, the one zealot's going to be able to get through. Sorry, I missed that. With the probe, that's going to draw a lot of probes off the line. They want to try to get on top of that zealot. So, disrupted mining while that dragoon's still being built. Zealot just at 32 health, but with a second Zealot moving it, this was a good play from Adame. Second Zealot moving across the field, good reaction time. He might actually be able to get additional kills. Might have gotten a probe kill right there. Pylon's being, he's trying to create a pylon wall. Nice! So he's got the pylon wall built, and that is going to prevent additional reinforcements coming out. So that is going to make it even more difficult to stop this additional Zealot pushing in. And keep in mind, he can still cancel this. Uh, eventually, if he wants to go ahead and abandon it, sell it on top of Dragoon right here. So basically, when this Dragoon spawns, it is going to be trapped inside these pylons. I think that might... I'm kind of curious about this gap. And also, there's just a lot of misfiring that happens. You can see Grass desperately trying to get that pylon down. He's losing two probes in the effort. So no, okay, it wasn't a perfect... Yeah, I didn't think that was the case. It wasn't a perfect gap, but it is going to disrupt a lot of that fire. That Zealot going to back off. And oof. Actually, with that pylon casing, more Zealots flooding their way through. So it's going to be... F it's going to come down to Micro. Grass versus Adame, and that is what's going to win this match or not, is whether these Zealots can overpower these Dragoons, because honestly, if these Dragoons don't get taken out, this third Dragoon is going to spawn, and it's just going to wipe out 300 minerals worth of stuff for Adame. And despite this Manor Pylon, which is just now collapsing, by the way, that is just an immense amount of minerals. Doing a quick end around might be able to catch this. Yeah, this is where it gets really, really dicey. Sometimes with two Zealots, it, with some decent micromanagement, you can catch a couple Dragoons and swing the match that way. Three more Zealots moving their way, you can see on the low ground on the mini-map. But this is really the critical fight here, is 
is how much damage is done, and uh, it's not going to be enough. Two Zealots still standing, and there's additional Dragoons. Three Dragoons versus three Zealots is not that great a fight, unless you really have them pinned into a corner. And honestly, this one Dragoon sitting here with these two gateways, I'm going to hand this. I'm not going to say the game's over, because anything can happen. But at this stage, it is very, very much looking like it is in Grass's favor. More Zealots making their way through. I got it. Well, let's see. The Zealots making their way up. They might be able to just dive in. Okay, now they're backing off. Two gateways in the background. The question is, is okay, what do you go for now from Adame? You know you're in you're at a disadvantage, but really all that has to happen here. This is interesting. So for so I was gonna say all you have to do is get a robotics facility and your own uh, looks like those dragoons want to try to chase down. That's actually gonna allow that other zealot to sneak through. So they're trying to chase down these zealots and kill them quickly. Another zealot might be able to sneak in, and that's gonna be two zealots versus one, but they might be able to sneak some probes, do some distraction. At the very least, he's gonna get a scout on all this tech. But with the cannon works as well. You get the cannon down, that's going to deal with the Dark Templar. Um, Adame, in the meantime, is supply capped. You can see at 33, lost a lot of minerals right there. He's going to have enough to defend his front, but isn't going to have a lot else going on. The Zealot, somehow, getting on top of the probe line, is able to do some disruption there. He does have the overall probe lead, I think just from uh, macro orient, uh, well, macro oriented play. But the question is, is, okay, so two Dark Templar building. Two Dark Templar building. Grass still has map control. He has a superior... Well, he did have a superior Dragoon count. Things actually swing back into Dame's favor through superior... Just superior macro. So this... Wow. Turning into a game again. Turning into a game again. So despite... And I think what was happening there is he just was microing so much, trying to kill those Zealots and making sure his Dragoons died that he didn't stay on top of his probes. He's planting a natural expansion, but it's about at the same time as the, natural, the, the Nexus here. Critically, though, is there a cannon? Because there are DTs that are going to be out there momentarily. So despite the inferior probe count, there's two cannons. Next question, are the Dark Templar going to get there? Or maybe these Dragoons and Zealots dropping on top of those cannons, are they going to be able to wipe those cannons out? Dark Templar slowly making his way out here. So yeah, okay, this is going to be critical. Can they jump on top of that cannon, wipe that cannon out? W wipe either of these cannons out? Because if that happens, this natural expansion is sacked with that Dark Templar there. And that could be game again. Dark Templar moving his way across. They need to focus that Dark Templar down immediately. There's another Dark Templar following this. You can see him focusing Fickless Fire. That's one cannon down. Can they get the other cannon? The Dragoons on hold position. Oh no, the Dragoons briefly on hold position. They get the cannon though. Just as the Dark Templar is moving up. Natural expansion's up, but not before the Dark Templar is just gonna be able to rain destruction here. They, yeah, they have to flood out of here. Oh no, no, Grass. Oh, that base was dead. That base was sacked, but instead he got greedy, tried to push up. There was another cannon waiting for him, and instead he loses the Dark Templar. Oh, that was a... Oh, no. Grass. Ugh. Okay, so Dame now has swung back to a significant lead. Five probe count lead, plus a standing army. Yes, he doesn't have Dark Templar, but I don't know that it matters. He has good static defense. He can he's getting the robotics facility, some observers of his own. Whew! Okay, back and forth between these guys. Adame just with a huge supply lead. And that goes to show you, Brood War, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Looking at chat for a second, and yeah, high ground cannon takes the MVP from Zeke. Yes. High ground cannon, MVP of this match. If there was like an instant replay I could throw up and just be like, bah, 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 you know, da, 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 da. Yeah, just show up the cannon, killing the Dark Templar in slow motion, just like it dying several times. This probe trying to get a scout out is going to end up uh, faltering. The one thing this Dark Templar does provide is a brief moment of map control where the army just can't uh, cycle out. He's trying to test that front. Might be able to get a couple free hits, but careful, Grast. Yeah, and actually, I think that Dark Templar might be able to sneak in, get a couple of probe kills. That, that helps. Grass has actually managed, uh, in the meantime, to swing to a superior probe count, still behind overall in the just raw supply count. Is there... Where is the observatory? Still don't see an observatory. Are we just... Okay. And also getting two kills. I am shocked that the observatory is not here yet for Grass. Or, sorry, for Adame. Back corner, we do have weapons one just finishing. Additional gateways. Still anybody's game. Where is the observatory? It's got to be here, right? There it is. Just mining, but that's going to delay mining time. So actually, Grasp able to sneak, 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 sneak back into this. Uh, he able to get a couple probe kills, four probe kills now with this Dark Templar, so still doing work with this DT. 
and not much of a standing army for grass still, but he is going to have Psy Storm. He's going to have level one weapons about equivalent. If he can plop down a bunch of, and he has plopped down a bunch of gateway, so if he can macro really quick, he can, with a decent amount of bank and with a couple minutes time, he might be able to sneak right back into this match. Dark Templar taking a hit, but it's worth it. He now has five kills overall. So what looked initially like it was going to be a dud Dark Templar instead becomes a very valuable Dark Templar in the mid game. First Observer finally being built, which has to be, I got a feel for Adame here where he's feeling like, oh my gosh, that Dark Templar. So annoying. Is there a more annoying unit in all of Brood War than the Dark Templar? I mean, it's a functional unit. I don't think it should be removed from the game. But really, the frustration that it causes every player in this game, I guess if you consider like micromanagement and lack of micro, you know, where they just start fumbling over themselves comparatively. Level 1 weapons, level 2 being upgraded, probe, actually dual probe scouts engaging each other in bottom right hand corner. Adami moving out with a sizable army. This is three cannons to defend this, a couple zealots, I think the zealots might, I might have missed the citadel. Okay, yeah, so I think they have leg speed. It's going to come down to Psystorm to try to defend this, and he needs to hit a lot of those dragoons and really clear them out. So, ooh, catching his own zealot, unfortunately. I think this might be overwhelming forces from Adame, nevertheless. One cannon down on the front floor, he's even able to warp in. Another good side storm as they're walking up. Is there additional side storm? There is additional side storm. They're going to warp into an Archon in the background, but all cannons are down. That Archon completely exposed in Adame before the rest of those gateways were able to kick into gear for Grasp is going to be able to just peel into this natural expansion, wipe out all the cannons, everything here. And I think that might be all she wrote. I think that should be GG for him. So moving forward, yeah, he's going to be able to take this Nexus out. He's definitely going to be able to get additional probes. Another good Psy Storm. I got to say, all the Psy Storms hit, but it was just too much. There's just too much bulk army here for Adame. And now, yeah, he's going to end up losing this natural expansion. Still trying to reinforce... A little bit of a lack of reinforcements coming across, so he, he still might be able to defend this and clean this up. Five kills on that Dragoon. More Dragoons peeling. Are they going to be able to get on top? They're moving themselves a bit into a corner where it becomes more difficult to escape from those Zealots. So the Zealots actually might be able to do additional damage. Yeah, down to four Dragoons plus that probe defense. But the thing is, is even if Grass manages to fight this off, that's a lot of lost mining time. He's behind on the overall program uh, uh, pro, uh, probe count. The Adame still is able to flood additional units in, so yeah, he's going to have to back off. He wasn't able to take that natural expansion, but I still think it's an overall win for him. Way too many observers out on the... He's got four observers here. I guess really feeling those Dark Templar getting flooded out by those Zealots. He does have some more reinforcements, Dragoon, so these Zealots, even with the leg speed, need to be careful as they're pushing their way across the map. That single observer is going to catch all of the reinforcements coming across. Yeah, so now Grass may be overextending. No, he is going to be able to escape with this. So we're having, once again, a reset. Looking at the overall situation here, is this going to turn into one of those matches where it comes down to who gets their third down first? Four, five gateways up. Level one shield being upgraded. Level two uh, weapons being upgraded opposite corner. Zelt Lake Speed just being started from Adame. High Templar, Zealot combo. Interesting. So High Templar, Zealot versus Dragoon. A lot of observers. Uh, on the field we do have six gateways comparatively a robotics facility being planted for grass neither player feels comfortable expanding so these cannons that here, here in the background might be the difference here just halfway done with zealot leg speed plus the templar archives just now upgrading no six gateway so overall production so now the six gateway so briefly the overall production is going to be a little bit more in grasp's favor he's behind six probes overall but he does have a superior count of high templar plus those high templar uh, one of them's got to have some energy, right? One of them has a bit of energy. So there's going to be four storms in the upcoming engagement. Adame moving across the map. Look, okay, here's... This could be critical. Grasp sneaking expansion, bottom right-hand corner. If he can get this expansion up and defend it, and defend his front with just pure Psy Storm and Zealot, that could be the difference in the match. Adame sneaking his mineral only, playing a little bit more defensively. And Oh, it was spotted! Instant cancellation. Adame moving across with this Dragoon Force is going to deny... So this actually could be the swing now. So Nexus going up, Mineral only. He gets that Nexus up, gets a superior... Uh, basically, if he can just hold it, he'll win. He'll win the long game. Because now we're getting to the stage where this the main is looking somewhat thin. Both players need to do something to kind of win this match. Looks like that probe... Nice. Killing that probe. There is another Sneaky Snake probe here at the 6 o'clock. But I feel like Adame has got to be wise to the tricks now, right? He's got to know. Observers also have been kind of snuck out. It looks like that observer was killed right on that corner. But this is no vision for grass versus the... Oops. 
ton of vision for Adame. He's going to be able to see that army moving right across that map. Archon, Zealots, High Templar. I think Grast is feeling he's like, okay, I know I didn't get my third. I know he's getting his third. So I got to do something right now. Unfortunately for him, that army is going to get entirely spotted. Two cannons on the front. A good amount of units grouping at both locations. This choke. So maybe if Grass can get some Psy Storms off. Maybe if he can use these Zealots to pin the Dragoons in the corner. He can take this match overall. Still, and I think that's, yeah, good two storms in each High Templar before he engages. He might be waiting on that. This is clever from Adame. He's actually sneaking out and making sure that no additional Sneaky Snake expansions can be taken. I don't know why I feel like saying Sneaky Snake. It's just the thing I'm doing. Observer getting wiped out. Ooh, Sidestorm taking out some additional hits. Not quite catching the, on that third, so that's a lot expended there. Good Sidestorm catching some probes. The Zealots are on top of the Dragoons. Some good Sidestorm catching... The Dark Templar and the Dragoons melting that entire right-hand side attack force. Will it be enough, though? Dark Templar on top of the Archon able to wipe that out. I don't see any Observer for that Northern Fleet. Looks like the Zealots trying to make their way in. They have managed to wipe out one cannon, but the rest of the Dragoons able to clean that army up. Grasp at the Natural Expansion should be able to get some probes. He has nothing to detect that Dark Templar. So I think the rest of this army is going to be cleared out. And I think that might be GG. I think, yeah, that's GG. Good, good try from Grass. Well played from Adame, particularly keeping in his eye out for those expansions. Adame just did, it was really the informational advantage. Well played overall. Nice recovery. I got to give it to Grass, though. It looked like he, it looked like he was, uh, he had multiple opportunities to get in this. He had some nice recovery points. Adame, though, wow. It, I thought the game was over at a couple points here for him. But just sneaking through, manages to win it. Congratulations, Adame, advancing to the finals match, which we will cast momentarily here. If you guys want to see these cast live, by the way, uh, Twitch TV, DiggitySC, doing it. Uh, and hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thanks for listening.